channel Talent Kala and this is your crafty host Priyanka. So today is the second video for our 2020 goal of doing more videos and more crafty DIYs together. Um, and I'm hoping to keep on track. I'm still not on track, but I will get there. But I'm happy that we are in the second week and uh, I have already got my second video upload it so i'm really 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 happy to do at least two videos for january and more to come in january don't worry i'm not going to skip anymore but uh, as um, you have seen that um i'm trying to be consistent uh please be a little bit forgiving and uh trust me i want to be consistent but i am still not finding the right rhythm so apart from saying all that uh also from the previous video i am still working on my third kite and i had promised to show in in this uh video um, but i'm still not done and i didn't want to show an incomplete kite so even though makar sankranti is tomorrow i will definitely not be able to finish it before makar sankranti but uh, definitely will upload it before my third video comes out for January so definitely keep a watch out I'll just do a short video of showing how it looks after it's done so like about a minute or so not taking much of your time and that being said now let's get on to this video and as you have seen already at the thumbnail uh, on the thumbnail that we're going to do a DIY sunburst and sunbursts are very very popular on youtube and i have been fascinated with them uh people have youtubers have gone out and about and done these amazingly intricate work they have given so much into it so much difference it's like every video you look at it's there's something different but i wanted to keep it more uh, related to indian art and relate give it an indian touch so i wanted to do something different i wanted to do it more painting wise i didn't want to uh stick stuff on it much and i haven't seen that many but as many as i have seen it's always like applying bling or using spoons and i absolutely love them i'm not criticizing any one of them because everybody did an amazing job and that's the reason why i am making a sunburst because they all inspired me and I was just so happy that it looks so, so, so much beautiful in everybody's house. And I just wanted one for mine too. So I wanted to do something different, but I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to be inspired. And I wanted to say that I'm inspired by all these YouTubers out there who did the sunburst. And I cannot name one or two because I've seen so many of those videos that, um, it is impossible to just pinpoint one or two. So uh, I will definitely link a couple of them down in the descriptions if you guys want to check out more options. But really, if you just type DIY sun sunburst or DIY sunburst mirror or home decor or something like that, and those videos will pop up like crazy. And those are just these beautiful, simple designs and simple ideas that just lit up the house so that's the reason why i wanted to make this uh painting uh this uh sunburst painting and i wanted to give it my own twist and keep it a little bit attached to my indian culture so uh, let's uh, talk about the materials and then i will get into the details of why i chose um the painting and how i chose it so the first thing you'll need is uh, are these popsicle sticks and these are the jumbo ones they are the giant craft sticks actually that's what it says and it comes 45 in a pack and this i got it at walmart um and uh, i really love them they are not really that high quality they are um, very inexpensive i think they were 397 for 45 of them and you need about 16 of them that's many that's how many i used then you need these wooden dowels and these are very thick ones the ones that i have used are the skinny ones because first i got these and then i thought these were just too thick and then with the with a big popsicle stick it'll look too much bulky so i didn't want to 
to add that much weight onto the plaque so um so i got a skinny dowel pack and i will also you will also need a 16 of so as i was saying uh, you need the uh, the dowel and the popsicle sticks i use the giant popsicle sticks because we are making paintings on them uh, even though it's just a glimpse of those folk card paintings indian folk art paintings but still it's painting and you need a little bit of space that's the reason why i purchased these um if you don't find this don't panic you can just always use the smaller ones but not the skinny like the ice cream candy stick ones you want to get the broader ones um i think amazon is the best place to look for that also you will need a round six and a half inch plaque a wooden plaque and i found that at dollar tree i mean not dollar tree sorry walmart and um i don't have an extra one handy and i've already finished the project at this point so that's the reason why i can't show you the plaque but right after we are done with the introduction you'll see what i'm talking about so we need a, a six and a half inch plaque or whatever size you want you can make it smaller or bigger you need a metallic gold paint and um, i'm using the folk art uh, antique gold and then you will need some hot glue sticks and i'm showing hot glue sticks because i want to say that using gorilla ones will be perfect because they are permanent and they are more sturdier than the regular hot glues uh, hot glue sticks you will also need uh, these round and square uh, dime uh, mirrors uh, you can also use diamond instead of square but i have these smaller sized i think this is smaller than a penny and, and even this one is smaller than a penny so both of them are smaller than a penny uh, and these mirrors are available on my etsy shop and i will have the link to the etsy shop in the description for you guys to check out also you will need more acrylic paints to paint the folk art paintings so you need a, not a lot of colors because uh, as i've mentioned in the video also uh, that in uh, in the olden times when the folk art paintings evolved, they didn't have that many uh, chemical colors. They used the natural uh, ways of making the colors and paints and they had very limited palette. And that's the reason why they don't mix colors or they don't make that many colors or add those fancy neon and stuff. So you just need the basic set. You will also need a two way tape if you are planning to um, directly stick it to the wall and uh, I have these handy but if you don't have and if you have to order it or buy it get the bigger size I just had these smaller ones handy so I'm just going to use them. Uh, you will also need a glue gun which I'm not showing everybody knows what a glue gun is and um, let me think about it I think I've covered all the materials but uh, just to be safe, I will have all the materials in the description for you guys to check out. And as the video progresses, I will keep showing uh, the materials that you will need. Also, one more thing, with the paint, we need paintbrush. So we need paintbrush with the paints. Uh, so that's one thing that I just remembered. And everything else that I have forgotten will come up in the video. But I will have everything in the description for you guys to just take a glimpse at it. So that's that. And now oh, why uh, I have chosen Sun with the folk art paintings. And I had this uh, amazing conversation with my mom. And she was like, you know, uh, I was thinking what I want to do in the centerpiece, like whether I want to put a mirror or do I just want to, you know, stick small mirrors and make a design or I want to do some kind of other folk art in between. And she was just like, oh, why don't you just make a sun because when these folk arts evolved who was present were you present was i present no we don't know who was present when the folk arts came into existence but the sun uh, is the witness because the sun was there when these folk art was there before the folk arts came uh they when they came into existence and even today the sun is there and it has uh, the sun has witnessed all the uh, before the folk art time, ex uh, folk art coming into existence and after that. So it's still being witnessed. It's still witnessing the evolve, evolvement of these folk arts and how people are using the olden times art, the Indian art in today's world. So it is. it was so much essential and I was so touched and moved by that um 
story that I wanted to just be like, okay, yes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a sun as it, it's a sunburst. I didn't want to put a mirror in it and then uh, just have this witness of the folk art in the center and then it's radiating out these rays with the four cuts coming out from its rays. And that was just like something that made me smile and made, I think, you know, that kind of enlightenment that made me so happy that I just wanted to do that. And that's why I uh, did the sun as a centerpiece and then the four cuts around it as if the sun is the reason from the sun they came out as their rays because sun witnessed them or uh, there are a lot of folk arts that sun is part of so also that being said sun was part of each and every folk art so that is also one of the things that uh, makes sun such an important um, element in these folk arts so without further ado let's start into the tutorial and uh, yeah thank you so much guys for your support and before i leave give me a thumbs up if you like this video watch it till the end i am sure you won't be disappointed there are four different folk cards that we are talking about from the many many others that we that indian culture has uh, we are just talking about the four and um Please do stay till the end, watch the video to the end, give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm really, really, really close to hitting that thousand subscribers. So please, with your love and support, uh, help me hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button and I will greatly appreciate you all. So now let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so let's begin with the tutorial for this sunburst. And uh, here is the centerpiece that I'm going to use. It is, I think, a uh, seven inch in diameter, uh, diameter and it's a round black. black. And um, I have gone ahead and roughly, rough handedly drawn a circle and then um, done a face for the sun. Um, so I painted the black gold first and then drew on it, um, uh, drew this sun's face on it. So all I'm going to do is paint uh, the sun's face and I'm going to keep it really simple, nothing complicated. Um, color the, start coloring with the eyebrows and um, then go on from there. And I hope you guys can see because I can't see my own painting. The glare from the light is too much. And I can't see much. And it's going to be hard. So I'm just taking a smaller brush so that I don't make a mistake. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move it around so that you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color half of it on, uh, online and then I'm just going to do the rest of it offline. Uh, definitely um, so that's the eyebrows. I need to give it a little bit of shape here. And then I'm going to color the mustache black too. Again, I can't see because the glare of the light is so. Okay, I think now it's better. And I'm taking a thicker brush because I didn't want to color them such a big space with such a tiny brush. And with craft paints, uh, you really don't need that much water or even ac acrylic paints don't need much water. If you have a lot of water, like right now on my brush, I have a lot of water. It's uh, becoming streaky. And I'm going to just wash it off and then I'm just going to redo a second layer on top of it. And 
and I have colored my sun gold because uh, the other elements will also complement uh, other other elements of the sunburst will also complement it being gold so that's the reason why I have made it gold but you can definitely use um, like the sun colors like red and uh, any other but other thing I want to also mention is that all the four cards have those vibrant colors like red and blue and I mean you definitely don't want to make the sun blue but just saying um, so I would rather go for neutral colors uh, than uh, than making it um, because if you have all those uh, vibrant colors like yellow red orange in the sun like on the base here then it wouldn't uh, it would just not um, it would just get blended with the other paintings and it would not stand out so that's the reason why I decided to make the base of the black gold and then make a sun on top of it. So that's my mustache and my line work on the camera becomes like so shabby because I think because I'm doing it from the other side and it's harder for me to not move my fingers, I mean my hands and it's just so hard. Let me try to outline the eyes. I sorry if I'm making the whole painting upside. Wow, I really can't paint on the camera. Uh, I'm really, really sorry, guys. I'm really bad at this. Actually, let me go ahead and finish outlining the whole thing and then I'll come back and show you a couple of things that I want. So I've completed uh, outlining the whole uh, face where I wanted to do black and I colored all the black parts and where I wanted to outline. I outlined it completely. Now we are going to color the eyes. Um, I just want to do white here. I don't want to keep it uh, gold and uh, the reflection I want to color it white and then we'll color the tilak or the bindi not the bindi bindi is usually for um, females it's a tilak we'll color the tilak and um, we'll color the lips red so I have my white paint and I'm not sure how the white paint will look but um, I think it should look fine and again, I'm coloring with a really uh, just so help me color in the finer details. Okay. I think this looks decent um, definitely will go over one more time with the black uh, to um, cover up the white that has gone over the lining part but uh, I'm, for now I'm just I'm happy that I have uh, done the line uh, first so that it is easier for me to color in and then whenever I have done a couple of mistakes of going over the black lining, I'll just go ahead and redo the line. I usually do that most of the times, like do the outlining first and then color because that um, makes me feel that the painting is looking better than just not having the outline done first. And then it'll just make me feel like, oh, I'm not coloring properly although when I do the outlining outline work it just turns out absolutely fine it's just in my head so I think that's that I need to redo this part here because 
parts too. And uh, don't worry about all the mess that I'm making. I'll just refine it with a black line. Okay, and oh, and I forgot the um the reflection too. Just going to go with the white. I'm sure you did not see the other side painting or me painting the other side of the eye, but I'm really, I'm so like, I have so gotten used to the fact that my hands come in a way, it's not even funny no more. So while I'm coloring and you guys are watching me, I want to talk about uh, how close I am to my thousand subscribers mark and I'm really uh, wanting to reach my thousand subscribers as soon as possible and that is not possible without your love, your support and I am really grateful to everybody who's showing me the love and the support um, that helps me keep coming back to making videos on this channel and um, I just sometimes I just miss you guys uh, not uh, talking to you guys or not doing any videos for you guys but then um, yeah I'm just is so close that I really 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 hope that you guys support me and we reach there I I need at least 260 more subscribers but I know you guys love me so much and your support will help me reach my goal sooner than I expect and I really really would appreciate if you guys help me out uh, that would be something that would I would be very grateful for and uh, if you can please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell button to stay in the loop of all the videos that I post I am forever grateful to each and every one of you whether you're just a viewer you just give me a like even a like is okay if you don't want to subscribe even a like is okay because that means that you appreciate my con content and you enjoy watching my videos and that would mean a lot to me so here i'm coloring the lips for the sun and that would complete the paint part of the sun except for the fact where i need to uh, redo a couple of line work but that's fine i'll just do that offline i'm not worried about it and now we're just going to do one more thing to the sun and then our centerpiece will be complete. So this painting is done and now the last thing I want to do is take these small round mirrors and place them on the edging with the help of my hot glue gun. So I'm going to take the mirror and then on the back of it I'm just going to apply a little bit of hot glue and then uh, place these mirrors on the edge. And that's what I'm going to do all around. Um, and I have these mirrors handy. So I'm applying the round ones. If you don't have the round ones and you have the square ones or you have any other shape, you can apply those. Uh, I just have the round ones handy. I also have the square ones, but I wanted to use the round ones for this one. So, and if you guys want to buy these, they are available on my Etsy store. Uh, for purchase and they are really inexpensive um, there too um, yeah so I'm just going to go around and place these uh, mirrors all around the edge of the sun and once I'm done completely putting all the mirrors around I'll be right back all right guys so here is my completed sun centerpiece for the sun and i hope you guys like this let's continue and move on to making the uh this the paintings on the popsicle sticks All right everyone so let's start with the varley painting first and uh varley painting usually they have like this reddish brown background and then white um figures 
or white designs but i wanted it to be black just because black is such a bold color and white and black is always such a nice combination i did go ahead and finish my backgrounds and i have done all the backgrounds for all of my uh, four paintings that i'm going to do and i just want because i didn't want you guys to be bored with me doing this re repetitive black color for like 10 minutes here since it's a slow slow process and then I also have to um, make sure I'm not covering the figures so that's the reason why um, I decided to go ahead and do the backgrounds for all of them plus black is something that I can use directly from the bottle uh, or the tube but uh, for the other colors I have for the other backgrounds I have made um, the colors by mixing a couple of them and just because I wanted to keep the exact shade, I just went ahead and um, colored all the backgrounds first and then so that I am not, um, the color of the background doesn't change. Because once you make the color uh, second time, it, there is always going to be a slight difference. So here completed making the body of the lady and this is also a slow process coloring the small details uh, and you will need a fine brush I'm using a little bit thicker but uh, I'm okay with it um, So here I have completed the Warley painting and this is only a little bit of glimpse and you'll see a little bit of glimpses of the Indian folk art. Uh, I will do definitely more on larger scale but this is how my popsicle sticks look like and I still have some work to do on it but we will continue uh, after we are done painting with all, with all four paintings. So this is the popsicle stick. It's over. And we're going to make four uh, pop, same popsicle sticks. So four Warley painting. Uh, four sticks with Warley painting on it, on it. And I did the same four designs. You can do different four designs. But I just wanted to keep it really simple. So I just made the four four popsicle sticks with the same Warley painting design on it. So let's go ahead and move on with the Madhuvani painting. So let me just go ahead and grab my popsicle stick stick for the Madhuvani painting. And this I'll is back. my Madhuvani painting design and uh, it is a simple, I've kept it simple uh, for two reasons. I didn't want to make a very intricate pattern for this uh, painting. I just wanted to keep design simple and also since even though this is a jumbo popsicle stick it is still small and i cannot um, make a lot of elements on this painting so hence a very simple very intricate not very intricate design i've already done the background like i mentioned earlier and i'm just going to do a little bit of coloring with you guys um to show you what uh, how madhubani painting is done the the main thing in madhubani painting is that they have these black uh white lines actually and not black but i'm going to do black lines in between uh two designs like see this i'm coloring flat color then i will do lines in this this wing area i'm going to just do black lines um It'll be diagonal black lines. Similarly, the center of the eye will be colored black and then I will uh, make lines uh, like a sunburst on the out on the outer ring. So that's the, how uh, the Madhubani painting is made. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of coloring. I'll finish all the flat coloring and then come back 
and show you uh, what I was saying about the line work. And then also for this one, we will have to do a black outline to give it a finished look. So I'm just doing a little bit of work and I think my shadow is falling a lot on the painting, which I'm really sorry about. I'm trying my best not to get my hands in the way and then and by the way sorry if you can hear the noise of my son's tv he's watching tv right now because uh, that will help me do a little bit of work so uh, also the flower i have made it eight exactly eight petals so that it is easier for me to color alternate so So I'm just doing orange right now and then I'll finish all the flat coloring and then come back and show you uh, the line work that I, that is a specialty of the Madhubani painting. Okay, so I have done all the flat painting and all the white spaces, some of the white spaces, not all of them. I'm going to do the line work that I was talking about. That is the specialty of Madhubani painting. So we're just going to look at this small uh, design here. And what I'm going to do is first make the outline. So, and I'm not, wor I'm not worried about thick and thin outline because If it's like, I don't want it to be perfect because perfection doesn't make it look handmade and I want it to look handmade. So here I have done my outline and then what we're going to do is we're going to make lines in the white space. So here I have done the line work and similarly I'm going to cover uh, most of the spaces where I have done white like here in the wings, uh, in the center here, uh, in the tail and in this um, other design pattern and the center of the flower. I'm going to make the, do the line work and I'll finish outlining the whole painting and then come back and show you how the right, painting is. So I have completed the madhubani painting and you can see that me doing lines while shooting is not as good as me making the lines right here without shooting on the video so it's easier for me to do if i don't have to worry about if my hands can be if the painting can be seen or not that's the reason why uh, you can see a little bit of thick and thin lines here but a better um better lines here so uh, this is complete again i'm going to uh, do the end uh, top part after painting all the four paintings and then i'm just going to leave this part empty so i'm going to go ahead and bring out my kalamkari painting now and we'll see how to color those guys this is my kalamkari drawing right here again very simple nothing complicated because of the space and I didn't want too much going on on these uh, small popsicle sticks. So 
uh, I am going to paint a little bit. Everything is going to be flat painting, nothing shading. Uh, because in all, all these paintings, they were, uh, they are folk paintings and have been done in India for the longest time. And they use natural dyes to color them. So they did not have a lot of variety of colors and everything was painted single color. There was no uh, mixing of colors and there was no, um, what do you call, no all, all those fancy colors that we get now they didn't have it back then they were all using uh, like flowers to make colors or fruits vegetables um, and some kind of um, everything was organic and they made dyes out of it and the colors were made out of all those organic materials so there were there was no chemicals mixed in it and that's the reason why um, all the colors were very simple basic colors there was nothing uh what's the word no fancy colors that we have like neons and stuff and no mixing of colors so that's the reason why we're just going to paint it really simple so here i'm going to paint a little bit of green that i have here where i want to do and then i'm going to go ahead and finish this offline and then come back and show you how it looks like all right guys so this is my column uh, completed kalamkari painting and we will look at the top part later but i have painted it gold and that's what i'm going to do for all my designs all the 16 popsicle sticks the up place that i left blank up here is going to be painted gold so that's what I'm going to do and then I have painted the peacock and then I've given it a black outline to give it a finer details. Um, I, you can also apply varnish at this point and to give it a finished look and also to protect it from getting dusty and uh, not dusty but to protect it and make it, make it long lasting. So this completes our uh, Kalamkari painting and now we are going to see how to uh, work with the Gond paint. Design for my Gond painting and what I have done is actually I've missed out to make two bubbles right here but I will do that freehand and make them. Uh, but um, Gond painting has this different, um, so first they do a flat painting everywhere and then they do this intricate designs like with white and any light colors or bright colors like i've made some lines here and then i have done a darker shade outlining here and then the white lines and the white dots here and also made a, like a straight line um in the plants down here and the similarly i have done the dots with white lines so that's what they they do they give intricate designs with lighter shade of color or darker shade depending on what they have used for the base and i'm doing a lightish orange and um i know they do, did not mix colors either but because i wanted it to be a lighter shade of orange i just added a little bit of yellow and i've all i've only used the color uh, that they would have available back then like yellow orange and blue so uh, I'm just I just mixed a little bit of yellow with the orange and I'm just going to flatly color the whole body of the fish not worrying about um, the detail part because I'm going to do that with a darker shade uh, or probably with red and I'm just going to color it quickly And most of the in the Indian art forms, they use very, very basic colors, nothing complicated um, and really keeping it very simple, yet making it look so beautiful and so artistic, depicting uh, that art it doesn't need fancy tools, doesn't need fancy equipments. It just needs a person 
who's ready to use their creativity. All right, guys. So here I have completed the flat painting and I also started a little bit of line work, the detailing work on the fish. And uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit because you can basically uh, make any detailed designs, simple detailing designs like lines, crisscross, dots, anything that you wish and you can mix and match. So I'm just going to make some lines here and then I'm just going to make a couple of dots. And you can also use uh, dotting tools if you have handy and uh, to make the dots to make it perfect. But I want it to look handmade so I'm not worrying about the size of the dots. I'm just going to uh, do it freehand. And then I'm just going to do more dots on the screen fin. Alright guys, so here are all four of my paintings uh, complete and outlined and almost done. The one thing that is left is I haven't placed, I haven't put any varnish on it yet and uh, I might have to wait till I get my hands on a bottle of varnish because I ha don't have it handy at home. But giving it a varnish like I mentioned earlier would make it look more shiny and it will uh, also help the colors not fade away uh, fade away so soon so one thing i wanted to do uh, to complete this um, popsicle sticks is to add these um, mirrors on top and you might have seen uh, in the earlier popsicle sticks that i showed you the square mirrors and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, move this aside. I'm just going to take one of the um, popsicle sticks and I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue at um, the top here. Not too much, just a little bit. And like I said, it's winter right now, so it'll take, it'll quickly dry. But I'm going to take this square um, a mirror and then instead of uh, putting it square, I'm just going to place it in a diamond shape uh, in such a way and I'm going to do that on the rest of the three uh, right here and all of them will have one uh, square mirror on top in the shape uh, placed as a diamond so I'm going to finish that and then we will move on to making the fillers in between this um, popsicle sticks I'm going to put some fillers so we're going to move on to that so let me go ahead and finish this and the next time I come up I'll have the um, all my popsicle sticks will be ready but we will start working on the fillers in between each paint. So here is the dowel. Uh, I'm using the skinny one but you can use any um, width of the dowel. I have another one but I felt like it was too thick for my uh, painting. So I used this one. The other one was 3 8 inch and this is very, very skinny one. This is like the regular dowels. And uh, what I did is I went ahead and painted a gold, gold paint, gold acrylic paint. Actually, it's craft paint. I painted two coats of craft paint on it, gold craft paint. And I left about an inch and a half of dowel without paint because that's going to go behind the centerpiece. So that's why I have left it um, blank I, I, I blanked out and what I did is because I am making 16 of them and to uh, keep them dry I had this styrofoam or um, piece of styrofoam and what I did is I just make made them like stand in here so just so all of them were here it made a good drying rack for me if you guys want uh, to make a lot of them, this is a good idea uh, to uh, make a drying uh, rack. So I had it handy, so I used it. And um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is I am going to take two of the circle uh, mirrors, the round mirrors, and then one square mirror, and we're going to place it onto this towel. And I've already started heating up my glue gun and what I'm going to do is take apply a little bit of glue 
at the edge and then take the square oops i got entangled i got tangled take the square mirror and place it at the edge on top and why i like the glue why i like hot glue is because the excess you can always go ahead and remove it later when it dries up so here i have placed uh, the square mirror in a diamond shape and little bit of it goes out so i've just placed the dowel like halfway through the middle and then the half of it goes out and then we are going to take again we are going to measure a little bit of distance and i'm just eyeballing it i'm just going to place a hot place hot glue right here and then we'll take one round mirror and place it right here and then again i'm going to keep some distance and add a little bit of hot glue and then take the second round mirror that we have and place it right here and i think my bandaid is coming off i got hurt today a little bit in the kitchen but it happens to me all the time so here as you can see that i've already started placing the popsicle sticks and the dowels that i painted and now i have just left this one side about four of them left to apply so here i'm taking my first popsicle stick and i have gone through uh, in the uh, in the pattern of varli madhubani kalamkari and um, gond so it's again varli and i've gone anti clockwise instead of going clockwise which i don't know why i did that but um that was my mistake but you can either take it as varli kalam uh, varli gond kalamkari and madhubani or you can go this way where it's varli madhubani kalamkari and gond with that's okay i mean whichever way you feel uh, you and you like it you can uh, you can do it that way so saying that i'm going to take my varli right here and what i'm going to do is i'm applying a hot glue gun hot glue not hot glue gun hot glue here i don't know why i always keep saying hot glue gun so i'm going to apply hot glue right here where i have left the space and uh, i'm applying uh, sorry i'm applying the gorilla glue um, glue stick for the hot glue i'm using the uh, the gorilla glue stick and not the regular ones because uh, this is permanent and gorilla glue um, is really really strong so that's the reason why and then i'm just going to place it right here underneath and behind i'll show you in a minute um how it overlaps each stick on the back side so here i have placed my um varli let me just turn it over and i'm going to be completely out of frame for a second but it's right here if you can see it's overlapping the this was the last one that i applied and uh, it's overlapping a little bit not too much just a little bit uh, to the last gond painting that i had before that i even made like 16 um, sections with pencil on the back side but that was not much helpful i mean it is helpful in a way that i know that this uh, popsicle stick is going to go here but it's not even helpful because now i only have two uh, slots left and i still have to place three paintings so it was not really useful but it's a little bit useful if you guys understand what i'm trying to say and uh, i'm going to flip it over again and then start placing the other paintings too and uh, definitely we are going to do something for the back side uh, we're not going to leave it um, so unfinished so i'm still wondering what i want to do um so i haven't yet decided but here's my madhubani painting uh, up close again and again i'm just going to do this exact same thing that i did with the varli painting and i'm going to go ahead and also attach all of the other three other two i'm going to apply this here attach this one on camera and then i'm going to apply the other two um offline because it'll be easier for me and then come back and show you how it looks like and how to attach the dowel sticks um dowel sticks on in between the popsicle sticks
all right guys so as you can see i have attached the all four of them and i'm don't worry guys i'm going to show you the whole completed um sunburst once we have done all the elements and put them together it's hard for me to pick up the camera and then work with it so i'm just having it rested on my table and then i'm going to show you and it's not coming up completely but i will definitely show you the whole picture once we are done putting all the elements together so i i have put this warli madhubani kalamkari and gond and then we are just going to flip over because for uh, when applying the popsicle sticks you want uh, the paint uh, the painting to be the front side but when you're applying these dowels you just need want them to be on the back side it makes it easier to place and all we're going to do is we're going to take the dowel and then here with where we have left this um, empty space as you can see right here and don't worry about this i made a wrong drawing so i had to redo it and i flipped the popsicle stick and kept using the same one so anyways as i was saying um we're just going to apply the hot glue right here where we haven't painted and then place it right here in between the two popsicle sticks so let me just go ahead and apply some hot glue and again i'm going out of frame which is like an everyday thing for you guys now you know that i go out of frame like every in every video so anyways right here I have applied the hot glue and it's the lights glaring on it but you can see it and then I've just applied uh, the dowel face down so that the mirrors are facing the other way towards the front sides. So that's how we're going to go ahead and apply the rest of the dowels and all right guys so I finally decided that I'm going to um cut out a piece of circa and from cardboard it's a regular cardboard and i painted it gold and you can already see the mark of the compass where i used it to make the circle and this circle is six and a half inches in diameter and you can make the circle according to the size of your uh, centerpiece uh, how big or how small it is so mine was six and a half so i made this six and a half so now what we are going to do is um, apply hot glue uh, everywhere and it's going to take a minute and i think it will dry before i get to the end of it because it's so cold here right now it just and i'm just going to apply half of it first because i don't want it to dry and now my glue gun decided it's going to get cold it's a very inexpensive glue gun i bought it at dollar store and it's only a dollar so it it still lasted after so long i'm very happy about it and i'm not complaining i'm just going to bend this a little bit and then apply glue gun i mean hot glue I'm applying hot glue on the dowels uh, so that it is easier um, like I'm not wasting a lot and also um, it won't the cardboard won't touch the uh, what is the word it won't touch the popsicle stick so that's the reason why I'm just applying on the dowel and I'm just going to apply a lot of it and then press it down. And I think, I think this is stuck properly. If not, I will just add a little bit of hot glue more. And I'm going to completely secure it. I don't want to take any chances with the, uh, the sticks coming off. Even though I'm using the Gorilla hot glue stick. So here it is guys finally my sunburst is complete and I'm sorry about all the glare that's falling that's falling on the mirrors and I it is bothering my eyes too I'm sorry but let me just bring it a little bit closer and 
I'm trying to figure out a way where the light is not glared but again one more time this is the Warli painting the Madhubani painting the Kalamkari painting and the Gond painting and this is how it looks like guys and all sparkly sparkly we just go back a little bit So this is how it looks like. Let me know how it looks like. I am so excited and super happy how it turned out. It just looks amazing. And now it just brightens up the wall in my living room. Uh, when I will do a section of my house. Like I'm going to do a section by section video of uh, my room makeovers and uh, uh, DIYs that I did. I will show you exactly where this painting is but it's just right above not above but a little bit sideways up on the wall where my tv is so it looks amazing people who walk in my house the first thing they'll see is this sun so i'm really 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 happy how it turned out and uh, i think this is the first time my dad was also interested and he was just like wow it looks beautiful i think my dad doesn't give me that much of a compliment when i'm painting he usually is not into art so he wouldn't but he just loved this too so there is something to it thank you so much guys for watching this video i really 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 appreciate you all please do leave uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions concerns ideas tips tricks whatever you guys want to do or just say hi i am always up for a hi so please do leave me a comment i would love to hear from you guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are uh, we are going to challenge ourselves to reach 1,000 subscribers because this is not my channel. It is our channel. We are here as a family. So I want you guys to support me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And don't forget to hit that uh, like button if you like this video. I greatly appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.